This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Carl to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So we've just been experimenting today and trying some lighting ideas that I've been wanting to try for a long, a long time. And we're using white acrylic so this is gloss white acrylic, and you may remember that I did a version of the Chanel bottle on the black gloss acrylic. Well, uh, I'm doing an alternative version with Chanel number 19 on white acrylic, and uh, it's used, used quite a few lights to get the result, and it's a very glossy surface, so you have to be careful. very sort of soft um, feeling to the light. And then been experimenting with different beams of light, experimenting with different bits of refraction through the bottle, different sort of levels of light on the gloss surface and then the beams of light here. And then we went uh, way off the reservation, which I really like this look. This is this dappled sunlight feel. So we get a very sort of um, feminine, magical uh, feeling to the light. Changed the light on the label again there on that one. Uh, changed uh, slightly on the colors here. And then finally we went over to uh, creating light as if it was coming through a window. So just experimenting with some different lighting ideas um, and then seeing what we could come up with. In these two images, you can clearly see how lighting conveys emotion. Both images are the same composition and same set, yet the lighting changes the mood and atmosphere completely. So if you're, if you're shooting on, on white, there's a few things to consider. One is manage your white levels really well. So in your color channels, you've got RGB uh, in all of the uh, tethered software capture one focus Lightroom. You've got your RGB values. Make sure they don't peak um, too high. 255 in each channel is pure white. So if your values are at 255, you're already hitting white and you may be over it. So get your values down to 255 if you want to, uh, 250 if you want to achieve pure white. And then just bring your lights up gradually from there. That also reduces flare and bounce back from the white surface. And as in this case, um, you know, we don't always want pure white everywhere. We've got patches that are coming close to white, but then other areas that aren't white. But, you know, it's just maintaining neutrality in the white so that it, it looks white. So white uh, itself can be an interesting background to work with, but it doesn't always need to be pure white to actually work. Mm -hmm. 